welcome. My name is Robin. Welcome to yoga. We get started for some a balance practice, a short balance practice on our mats, and we're gonna lie down. So depending on how your back feels, you can come to active shavasana with your legs long, or you can bend your knees and bring your feet to the floor, hip distance apart maybe even knocking your knees in towards the midline. This might feel better for your back. And just find a comfortable place, maybe even butterfly your knees if you don't have any sensitivity in your back right now and want some more hip opening. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. Just start to feel. Feel where your body meets the earth. Feel the sensations in your body from the stretch. Feel your breath. Taking slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose if that's comfortable. setting an intention for your practice. Take one more breath here. If you're not there already, bring the soles of your feet to the mat with your knees pointing up, pulling in your low belly. Your chest is nice and wide. Draw your right knee into your chest. You can hold on to the shin or behind the leg, hugging it in nice and tight and point and flex your right ankle or take some circles. You can keep your left leg where it is or you can extend it out and flex that foot as well. And then hold on behind the right leg and start to straighten the leg towards the ceiling and then bend. Straighten the foot like you're going to stamp the ceiling and then bend. One more straighten and bend. Good. And lift your head up so that your, if this is okay for your neck, so that your nose goes towards your knee. You can also take your hands behind your head as a cradle. Pulling in your low belly scooping it in, getting maybe a little bit higher, and then lowering your head and lowering your leg long. Notice any difference you feel from the right side to the left side. Perhaps it feels a little bit longer on the right side. And then we're going to do the other side. Hug your left knee into your chest, holding the shin or behind the thigh. And the right leg could be long as it is, flexing the ankle, or if it feels better, 
here, bring the sole of the foot to the mat. And you're gonna flex and point the left ankle and make some circles in each direction. Taking those slow breaths. And then hold on behind the right, the left thigh and start to straighten your leg towards the ceiling and bend. Straighten and bend. One more straighten and bend. Keep it bent and start to tuck, nod your chin towards the chest. Pull your low belly even more into the mat and lift your chest up if that's okay. You can stay with your hands behind your thigh or you can cradle your head in your hands. Breathe here. Another breath. And then lower all the way back down. Extend the left leg long. Reach your arms over your head. Flex both ankles. I have my palms facing in towards the midline with your, my thumbs on the floor. If your arms don't reach the floor, that's perfectly fine. Just come to where your shoulders allow. Still scooping in that belly and drawing your ribs in so your ribs are not popping out. Feeling this long line as if we were standing on the floor, standing on our feet with our arms up, an upward salute. Visualizing the midline of your body and breathing here. One more breath. And hug your knees into your chest. You can roll to one side to press yourself up or if it's okay with your back, you can rock up. Maybe a few rocks if it feels good. Maybe catching a little balance using your core. And then cross your shins, step back to down dog or to child's pose or all fours if you prefer not to go to down dog. If you're coming to down dog, tuck your toes, lift your knees and send your hips up and back. Widening through your sitting bones, keeping your knees as bent as you would like so that you can find that nice long spine. Maybe shake your head. If this posture doesn't work, you can repeat what we did yesterday coming to all fours and stretching one leg at a time back to find the same stretch in the back of your leg. Or just lengthening your spine in a child's pose. Feeling a release in your back. You can pedal your heels in your down dog. We're gonna stay in stillness. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then find your way to the front of your mat and take a half lift to lengthen your spine and exhale, fold. You can grab opposite elbows here and sway. You can sway your fingertips. If you don't like the upside down feeling for whatever reason, you can come to a half lift and stay here or find yourself all the way up. And you can bend and straighten your legs here as well. hands are not already released, release your hands down to the mat or towards the mat and then rise up. You can articulate up or 
come up with a flat back. Reach your arms up over your head. Then draw your hands down to your heart and to your sides. Peek down at your feet. You want your pinky side edges of your feet parallel to one another. Maybe hip bone distance apart with your legs. Pulling in your belly, softening your shoulders, equal standing pose. And then just like we did when we were lying on our backs, reach your arms up, palms towards the midline. Getting really long here. And breathing, finding something to look at, it's called a drishti. This will come in handy when we come to a balance. Notice the equal weight in your feet. Have your toes nice and soft. Another breath here. And then exhale, release your arms down. Roll your shoulders back. And then forwards. Look over your right shoulder, feel a nice stretch in the side of your neck. Come back to center, look over your left shoulder and come back to center. Okay, good. You're gonna shift your weight into your left leg. Lift your right leg up, just like we did on the mat, drawing our knee up and you don't have to go very high to start. Hug in your outer hips, pull in your belly. Stand nice and tall without locking your standing leg. Another breath, finding that focal point. And then lower the leg down. Come back to equal standing pose and we're going to do the other side. Shift your weight into your right leg. Lift up your left knee. Stay low towards the ground. You can even tap your foot down if that works better. Or stand by a wall or have a chair handy. Find your focus. Pull in your belly. Another breath. And then exhale, release, and shake it out. So just notice what that was like for you. Was one side a little bit more wobbly than the other? There was for me. Just take notice of it. It doesn't matter. Just balances something to be worked on as often as possible, really. It's not only good for your ankles and the little muscles in your legs, but it's good for your mental focus. So just see what works, what it's like at this particular moment. I'm gonna do it again. A little bit higher this time. So shift your weight into your left leg. Pull in that belly. Draw your right leg up. Coming up as high as possible. Maybe holding the shin like you did on the mat. Or if it works better, you can hold underneath the thigh. Visualizing the midline of your body. Standing up nice and tall. Level hips. Another breath. And then exhale, release, and shake. And we're going to switch. Setting it up. Engaging your core. Lifting your left leg up. Holding on underneath or holding on to the shin. Level hips, soft shoulders. Steady breath. And then exhale, release and shake it out. So with your feet still hip distance apart, put a slight bend in your knees and take 
a rotary stretch, shaking it out, whatever happened. And then slow that down, coming back to center. You're gonna shift your weight into your uh, left leg, lift your right leg up and take some circles. So these can be very small circles or they could be bigger. Just loosening up through the hip. Reverse the circles. Steady gaze. And then lower down, shake and switch. Weight comes into your right foot. Lift up your left leg. You could stay low, taking circles or coming up higher. where your arms feel better, maybe even on your hip, and then switch the direction of your circles. And then release and shake. All right, awesome job with balance today. You can um, do the previous video after this one if you want even more, or wait till tomorrow and do on the next balance postures. We're gonna flow down to the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lower your right arm down, take a side bend. Inhale, back to center, left arm comes down, side bend. Inhale, back to center, exhale, fold. You can soften your knees, shake your head. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Or all fours or child's pose. Just notice how you feel. Maybe bending your knees. Feel that equal weight between your feet, between your hands, from side to side. And then drop to your knees and come to a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together into a diamond shape. Take your hands behind your back to tilt your pelvis forward, sitting up tall. Or you can fold forward, maybe with cushions or blocks underneath your knees. You can open your feet like a book. You can bring the crown of your head down towards your feet. Just checking in with your intention if you set one. cross-legged, extend your legs, you can sit on your shins, root your sitting bones down, sit up nice and tall, we're going to come to a simple twist, take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, your right hand behind your back, sit up nice and tall, turn and twist, from above your navel, spirals to the right. Maybe looking over your right shoulder. Take another breath here. And then inhale, come back to center and twist to the left. Sit up nice and tall, left hand behind your back like a kickstand lift you up, and then start to turn and twist. 
spiraling your ribs, your shoulders to the left. Maybe your gaze follows. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your hands, open up through your chest. If you can't interlace your hands, you can hook your thumbs or grab a strap. Just open up a little bit more through the front body. Maybe look up and open your throat, getting some extension through your spine. Another breath here. And then release and shake it out. Lie down on your back for Shavasana or you can stay seated for meditation. If you're lying down on your back, just notice how it feels now after your practice. You can again bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to the mat with your knees coming in in a constructive rest or a broken bridge. Or you can butterfly your legs. Let the work that you did, the balance work, not just for your body, but for your mind. Settle in. Stay here as long as you'd like. You could pause the video. But if you're ready to come back, invite small movements into your hands and your feet. Maybe reach your arms over your head like you did at the beginning. On when you were standing on the mat, upward salute, bird Vahastasana. Notice your shoulders, your legs, your hips, how your whole body feels. Then draw your knees in, give yourself a tight squeeze, and roll to one side. Taking a moment to reflect. yourself up to a seat if you're not there already. Sitting up nice and tall, bring your hands to heart center. Think of someone or something that you are grateful for. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the class, what kind of balance postures you would like to learn, and I hope to see you next time.